how to buy a domain. That's what I'll walk you through step by step in today's video. Getting the right domain can be stressful. You want to choose a name that's easy to remember and pronounce as well as credible. For credibility, I recommend using top level domains such as .com, .co, .net for global businesses and personal brands. You can use these anywhere and they're recognized. Also in the US is what people are used to seeing. Or you can use country specific top level domains such as .ca for Canada, .co, .uk for the United Kingdom or .mx for Mexico. The first step to getting your domain is coming up with a name for your business or website, or better yet, I would recommend coming up with a handful of ideas because some of the ideas could already be taken by somebody else. The focus of this video isn't to help you come up with a name for your business or website, but I'll give you a few free resources to help you with this process. I recently created a video on choosing a name for your YouTube channel, and there's a lot of valuable information in that video. You can find that video up above here, or in the description below. Also, there's a bunch of business name generators. I'll link to a couple of those down below in the description. You can put in a couple keywords related to what your business will be, and they will spit out names for your business or website. After you've selected a couple of name ideas, the next step is to check and see if the domain you're looking for is available. I'd recommend at the same time checking to see if the social media usernames are also available. In an ideal world, everything will be using the exact same name, your website, as well as all of your social media accounts. There are a couple websites that can help you with this, but unfortunately, as I was testing them earlier, it seems like the connections with some of the social media networks aren't working and every name that I try is coming back as unavailable, even when I type in a bunch of random characters. For example, here at Brandsnag, I didn't find a single name that was available for Facebook, Pinterest, or TikTok. I'll put a couple of options below, but just know they won't always work perfectly. For the domain, you can also just search wherever you're considering purchasing your domain. I've created several videos about the best domain registrars, I'll link to the most recent video right here. For the last year or two, we've been purchasing all of our domains from porkbun.com. It's one of the lowest cost options, has great customer service, and comes with free privacy protection, or sometimes called WhoisGuard. Here at porkbun.com, I can put in the name I'm considering. Let's say I wanted to start teaching yoga online. I could try first with something like yogawithjeff.com. When I try yogawithjeff.com, you can see that it's unavailable, and it asks to see if I want to make an offer. If this was the name I just had to have, I would do some additional work to see if potentially they would be willing to sell. So if I put in yogawithjeff.com, you can see that it redirects to this website. So they're not currently using the website. Maybe it was something they used previously, then came up with a new name. So potentially he'd be looking to sell this, but maybe it's gonna cost several thousand dollars. Something that would be a little bit longer and a little bit harder to spell would be jeffthalenyoga.com, and you can see that it's available. One other thing while I'm looking here, I noticed there is a top level domain, .yoga. So maybe this could work. So if I put in just Jeff and yoga into the search bar, you can see jeff.yoga is available for my potential domain. Another important thing to keep in mind is the renewal price. So Porkbun makes it very clear and easy to see while you're choosing a domain, how much it's going to cost for the renewal. So essentially year two and beyond what you're going to be paying. So if you didn't know this, you don't purchase the domain and have it for life. You're essentially renting it on a yearly basis. Each top level domain is managed separately so they can have completely different pricing. You can see with Porkbun, a .com domain is going to be less than 10 bucks the first year as well as for the renewal. But something like .co and others, you may get the first year for less than $10, but it could be more than $20 for the renewal price. When purchasing from some other domain registrars, you might not even be able to find very easily the renewal price, and you will see .com sometimes being $10 or so for the first year and paying $20 for the renewal. So make sure to check that wherever you're purchasing your domain. Once you found the domain you want, click the plus symbol, go to checkout, purchase the domain, and there you go, you have your new domain. Another nice thing is that Porkbun has step-by-step -step instructions on how to connect your newly purchased domain with all of the major website builders, such as Squarespace, Shopify, Weebly, Wix, and more. So in just a matter of minutes, you'll be able to follow those instructions and connect your newly purchased domain with the website builder, and you'll be up and running on your new domain. Now that you've seen the process from beginning to end on how to buy a domain, if you're not sure that Porkbun is the right place to purchase a domain, you can see our video comparing Porkbun to a bunch of other domain registrars right here. Or if you're trying to decide where to build your website, here's a video down below of the best website builders in 2023. Hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.